there we go. Probably looks like ass. Anyway, yeah, mate. Uh, after uh, digging out four C64s, I finally found one that booted up, allowed you to type in, and had 38911 basic bytes free. Classic! That's a 75% failure rate, mate. And I didn't have a 75% failure rate on my uh, SX64s, most of which was uh, untested, I have to say. So, who dares wins? Is this the first, this is the first one I'm guessing, is it? Don't say who dares wins too. Yeah, look, this is the commando report. On real hardware, sir. This is actually a, <clears throat> a lot more like the original Commando. Uh, there's no music on it. Uh, graphics are uh, kind of slow paced. I haven't actually played Commando for a long time on uh, main. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm not using any cheats here. Mm. Obviously, never played this on anything other than a vice with a uh, cursor keyboard. Um, so this is new. New for 2020, who dares wins one in it? Ah, uh, you have to get him. Ah, oh, bollocks. I haven't used any bombs yet. Yeah, right, you have to kind of set yourself up for the uh, impending uh, rubbishness of the uh, attack. Be the last one. There we go. So yeah, famously, uh, Elite got an injunction on Alligator Software, and uh, this game was uh, removed from sale. Uh, they tweaked it a bit, and uh, I'm sure holding down the fire button, uh, maybe not. How would you do the fucking... Oh, I've got no grenades. How the hell did that happen? What damn motherfucker. Yeah, so it is a bit of a cheeky knockoff of uh, Commando, really. If you think about it, this is actually um, kind of more like what you'd expect Commando to have turned out like on the C64 and it would still be better than the Spectrum and the Amstrad. I'm sorry, you just have to deal with the facts. So yeah, it turns out there was nothing wrong with the SD to IEC. I'll just waste the, the last grenade. And we've got Fidel Castro as well, I presume, seeing as, um, yeah, anyway, oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Not. Yeah, I am smoking at the same time as playing this, so that's a bit iffy. I'm trying to see where that bastard thing fires. Yeah, that's the best way to go there. Self-destructing uh, stronghold. They didn't really catch on that particular invention. Don't know why. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> so yeah, it's an interesting game. 
I could have sworn I loaded Who Dares Wins too. Maybe I labelled the uh, files wrong. Probably. <clears throat> it's a bloody hot one today. So I'd say that's better than uh, Ikari or Ikari Warriors, as we used to call it as a kid. And why wouldn't you? Well, technically there's only one K, so it is Ikari, so... But then Icarus is spelt with one C, so who knows, mate? The point is, this game was out in 1985, briefly, uh, before Commando come out, I think, as well. I think that was uh, what really pissed Elite off. It, it came out while they were still finishing uh, Commando, possibly. So I'd say that's, uh, for 1985, that's, that's a pretty good game, you know. You should have seen uh, what most of the games were like in 1983. Just two years later, you get an acceptable commando knockoff. And speaking of knockoff, the uh, cats with their bloody tails are going to be uh, knocking the uh, scarf cable out any second, mate. But yeah, that's uh, pretty good. The title music didn't change, but uh, yeah, that's what it is. Real hardware, shit quality, 